In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Today our Mass is offered for Vincent Avesido on the occasion of his 69th birthday. Today as we come together, we recognize as the readings tell us that things pass, life is not forever, and that when we die, we want to see God. We want to see Jesus' face. We listen carefully to the words of God today and recognize sometimes we forget that that's our final end, that we are encountering Jesus himself. Let us ask the Lord's forgiveness for our sins of forgetting what our final destiny is. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded on all, all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to eternal, eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth, vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does a sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored, there is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come. Will there be any remembrance among those who come after them? The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been a refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. 
In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord herod the tetrarch heard all about what was happening and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying john has been raised from the dead or others were saying elijah has appeared still others one of the ancient prophets has arisen but Herod said, John, I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. The word vanity means basically useless. And the book of Ecclesiastes uses that term over and over again, telling us that the things of this life are passing. One of the readings today perhaps describes the, the gospel. One generation passes and another comes. Herod the Tetrarch, Herod Antisipas as he was called, referred to in the gospel, wanted to see Jesus out of curiosity. He was the son of Herod the Great, who tried to kill Jesus at the very beginning because the wise men had gone to visit him before they were looking for Jesus. And he said, let me know where that child is and I will come to worship him also. But his intention was exactly the opposite. He wanted to kill off any pretender who might be called king. And so we had all of the male children under two years of age in the vicinity of Bethlehem killed. But this was his son who presided over the death of Jesus. Remember before, after Jesus was taken to the high priest, he was sent to Herod also who really didn't say much to him. Jesus was silent, but he presided over carrying out what the Roman authorities did. He did not object. And so like father, like son, like father, basically did the same thing. Kill off the prophets. Kill off those who speak the word of God. The book of Ecclesiastes reminds us that life comes and goes and there's nothing new under the sun. We've heard that saying before, and it comes from the book of Ecclesiastes. But it is not a static view of the world. It's rather somber, but it reminds us that 
this world is not the end. There's something more to hope for and that we must make, make best use of the time allotted to us. <clears throat> Herod wanted to know Jesus because he heard about the miracles and that even he had raised someone from the dead. But how do we want to know Jesus? Is he a friend to us? Do we worship him as Lord? Why do we want to have a relationship with him? Are we just curious? Or is it something more essential to our spiritual life? We come today to this liturgy because we want to encounter Jesus, and we very much do in the sacrament of the Eucharist. But we must have a faith and a curiosity greater than that of Herod because the Lord is before us. Yes, he performed many miracles in his lifetime. And still, the miracles that Jesus performs are rather unseen by most. We must go beyond our human curiosity. We must deepen our relationship to the Lord himself because he prepares us for the things that are eternal, the things that do not pass like this life does. The book of Ecclesiastes reminds us that all things are vanity, but our relationship with the Lord is not that at all. It is something that lasts forever. Jesus will be granted us. We pray for the world in which we live, especially our civic leaders meeting today at the UN, that they may bring priests to this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Holy Father Pope Francis, that he has strength and courage to continue leading the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our bishops, priests, deacons, laity, all who give their lives for the sake of the gospel that they never will be discouraged, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick commended to our prayers that they will join their sufferings to that of Christ himself, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood of religious life that many young people will give their lives for Christ and his church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our faithful departed, all those who have gone before us, those whom we know and those unknown to us, that they may enter that eternal life promised by the Lord himself, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We mention our own petitions now in the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all the good things you've given us. We want to see your face we want to know you. Help us as we, you answer these petitions to show your love for us if they be in conformity with your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord put the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church, 
Receive the favor, O Lord, we pray, of these offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in your goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. litany for vocations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, leader of the heavenly host, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, messenger of God's divine plan, pray for us. Saint Raphael, companion of the journey, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Saint Joseph, protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, patron of parish priests, pray for us. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, patron of youth, pray for us. Saint Alphonsus Liguri, patron of vocations, pray for us. Saint Charles Borromeo, patron of seminarians, pray for us. Saint John Berkmans, patron of altar servers, pray for us. Saint Maria Goretti, patron of teenagers, pray for us. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Be merciful, spare us, O Lord. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Lord. Through your mercy, send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through your kindness, spare us, O Lord. Through the fervent prayers and sacrifices of your people, send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through the power of the holy sacrifice of the Mass, send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through the intercession of all the saints and angels, send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through the sanctification of the family, Send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through parents being generously open to life. Send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through the example of priests and religious striving for holiness. Send workers into your harvest, O Lord. Through a renewed sense of fidelity to our Catholic faith. Send workers into your harvest, O Lord that young people might seek to live the truth of Christ. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us. That young people might seek God's will for them in their lives. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us. That young people might hear the call to give their lives for the mission of the church. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us that all priests and religious might be renewed in the spirit of the new evangelization. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us. That bishops might be strengthened to be courageous shepherds. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us. That we may always zealously pray for and promote vocations. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us that those who are being called to be priests and religious might respond generously. O Lord of our hearts, graciously hear us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. We beg the harvest master to send out laborers for his harvest. Let us pray. O God, who chose the apostles to make disciples of all nations, and who by baptism and confirmation has called us to build up your holy church, we implore you to choose among us, your children, many priests and religious, who will love you with their whole heart, 
and will gladly spend their entire lives making you known and loved by all. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.